Hey, and I'm super glad that you guys joined me today. I am here with Lisa Bronner. Lisa Bronner is the granddaughter of Dr. Emmanuel Bronner, who's the founder of all of those amazing Sal Suds and all of the Castel soaps that we love so much. They're the magic soaps, and it's the top-selling natural brand of soaps in North America. And as we were just beginning to get ready for this show, I was talking to Lisa, and Lisa was telling me that not only are they in America, but lo and behold, they're in 42 countries across the world. Holy smokes. So hello, Lisa Bronner. How are you today? Thanks so much for having me, Angela. I am great. It's been a fun and busy week with the book launching and, of course, keeping up with all the other questions that come in about soap. And uh, so I'm happy to be back here with you. So share with me. I don't know that you were always on this journey. I remember there was a time in a story in one of the early parts of your book where you were talking about that you just grew up thinking like everybody is on the soap mission and everybody knows what it's all about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, so my grandfather was Dr. Bronner, founded the company in 1948, and it was his thing. It was not something that my immediate family was involved with in a day to day way. My dad, who was also a chemist, he did oversee the actual soap making. But as far as the business side of the company, that was all my grandfather. Not only was it not on our radar, but it just wasn't even part of my like consciousness, what he was doing, what that was all about. I was honestly, I think just not interested. And I went on my own journey, pretty conventional and graduated high school, went to college. Honestly, it was when I became a parent that I began to take a closer look at things around me and realizing, wait a second, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on in these products that I'm using. My son had a scary exposure to cleaning products at one point. And I kind of circled back and realized, I think my grandfather was onto something here. And so it was when I personally, you know, had to travel my own road and come back to what he had been doing all along it would have been easier and more straightforward if I had just listened to him in the first place. But that just wasn't what happened. And so I realized that the idea of simplicity, back to nature with your ingredients as close to nature as you possibly can with uh, plant-based ingredients and such. And he really was so far ahead of his time with advocating for all of that starting in the 40s. And, and he really was regarded as quite eccentric for his time, but he was right. Well, not only just a book that's brand new that's out on the market that I think is going to be one of the coolest books of all time as far as all of the green it yourself recipes that are inside. But tell me, you you also wrote a blog and have really been advocating this message for a long time. Tell me about how you started that and how that process has continued this message onto where you are today. Yeah, absolutely. We are a family company. So the Dr. Broners is still family run, family owned. And I think it's pretty typical with family companies that when there's a task to do, you just find someone to do it, whether it fits what they think their job description is or not. And so people end up wearing very different hats. And so at one point, my brother, Mike, who's now currently a uh, company president, he was doing, oh my goodness, sales, inventory, customer service, and some product development. Like all of that was kind of in his wheelhouse. And if you're seeing a Dr. Bronner's label up close, you know it says a lot. We have a lot to say. My grandfather had a lot to say to people. It's a lot of words on there. Well, we can't really be surprised that when we say a lot to our customers, they want to say a lot back. I have to say that you guys should get an award for the most words on a label ever because every single one of these labels is just like all the words. And then it has more words and then it has more words. And you're like, wait a second, I've got rating glasses on. <laughs> Absolutely. And the quart size, they're all different too. The five quart scents that came out in my grandfather's lifetime, the, all that little writing, it's different on every one. So you have to read all five quarts to get. Like, and he wrote all of that or somebody wrote all of that before chat GPT. Yeah, right. He was like his own chat GPT. There yeah. you go. So he wrote that and the label was just as important to him as the contents of the bottle. Soap was the messenger. The label was the message. He wrote it all. He put it on the label and he actually went blind before I was born. I never knew him when he could see and he had that label all in his head, all the labels. And he would make edits to it because he could remember every part of it. Yeah. So, oh, I'm so sorry. You asked me about my own history. So everybody's doing all these different jobs. And my brother just said, could you take over customer service? I had kids at home and he said, you could do it in the middle of the night when they're asleep, whatever. I can't keep up with all the email that's coming in. And so that's how I started. 
Yeah, people asking questions. How do I use the soap? What's the best for my situation? My acne, my baby, my sensitive skin, my oily skin. How do I wash my dog, my hair, my car? And so all of those questions eventually led me to write a blog called Going Green with Lisa Bronner, where I answer those questions and masks. People keep asking more, which I love. And that was 13 years ago. And so after writing the blog for so long, like I have the blog in my head, I know that, you know, of the hundreds of articles on there, I've got one for you on that topic, but I wanted to be able to give it to people who are interested all in one spot, which is why I wanted to write a book that was all together, comprehensive. You can keep it at your fingertips. All right, soapandsoulbook.com. This is Lisa Bronner, you guys. I'm so excited. Thank you for joining us today. And thank you, Lisa, for your time and attention. You are amazing. Well, thank you so much, Angela. It was a, my privilege to be here. All right, we'll see you guys same time, same place next week.